So anyway, the last one I want to touch on is how I like to, uh, that helps my productivity flow or my workflow uh, is Evernote. And I know this is, um, a lot of people find Evernote very difficult to understand um, and, and for a long time for me as well. And the way I use Evernote is like a big box, my, a big dumping ground. So if I find anything, it goes in there and I tag it and I use the search, the power of search, I use it. So I don't, um, I know some people want to approach it as a, as a catalog where, you know, like a filing cabinet where you actually have, this, yeah, uh, for me that doesn't work. I, and I, I frankly don't think Evernote works well that way. So for me, I dump it and I tag it and that's it. So, so uh, you can search for it later when you're looking I, for Yes, I use the tags. So, but I also at the same time, I want to keep the tags um, manageable. You know, I, I try not to have too many. But there, you know, you'll find a lot of common things that you can put together. For one of the things I really, really like to, to put in Evernote, or I use the built-in screenshot tool, and I take snapshots of ads. Ads and emails, and uh, even like product ideas, like uh, how people uh, create their shot of their products, you know. Even though technically it's not writing, but I find there's value in your presentation because if you can kind of see how people present things, I think it helps uh, with how you you frame your writing as well. Yeah. So visuals are important for sure. So ads, I definitely do a lot of ads in my in in my Evernote. Every time I find a Facebook, especially Facebook ads, when I find something that really you know made me stop scrolling, I take a screenshot of that because that's smart. Because you know what I do is I take a screenshot, but then I leave it in my photos and I never <laughs> see it again. Mm -hmm. So because I have used Evernote, and maybe if you wanted to back up a bit for anybody who's not familiar with it. I always kind of understood it to be a note-taking thing, and I don't like it for that. I like the simplicity of the Notes app that's actually on my phone. And Evernote mm -hmm. is web-based and mobile, is that correct? Yes, web-based, mobile, desktop. And but I, yeah, so I've kind of not gone to it, but I like this idea of collecting information. But do you want to explain, like, kind of in a nutshell, everything that Evernote does then, maybe, if they don't know? <laughs> Yeah, Evernote, as Alice said, is primarily sold as a note-taking tool, but frankly, although I do write notes in there, but I, I don't put a lot of notes in there. I'm, believe it or not, my notes are usually handwritten. <laughs> and and then I take a snapshot of it and put it in anything, anything that I want to remember, anything that I want to save, it goes into Evernote. So... It, it, it's more of, you know, I used the word filing cabinet earlier, but it's more of like a big, big giant digital shoebox. <laughs> but the nice thing is, with a, with a shoebox, you can't search, but on Evernote, you can search. It, so I just dump everything in there. I don't even bother to put them into, you know, different notes. As long as my tag is there, like Facebook ads, I have the tag FB ads. That's it. So you, that's what I was going to ask, because your tags have to be organized, right? If you start using all these different ones, then it's harder. Isn't yeah. The, yes. The biggest thing, though, is you have to be very disciplined with your tags. So, uh, if you know there are different collections, usually, you know, that you, that you collect. Yeah, actually, it's more collection. It's a collection spot. Um, then you keep, keep a list of those. your tags, or you just have a good memory of what you. What oh, you, you can take. pull them up, you know, and you can pull oh, them up. It'll but, show. It'll adjust it. Yes, yes. You the, you can actually show a list of tags inside Evernote. But, you know, the good thing about Evernote for me, and I, I do have the premium account, though, so this might uh, be where the difference is, uh, where the frustration is for some people. Um, images, it actually can read the text inside image. So if I forget if there's an ad, I know it's an FB ad, but I can't, you know, I just have a rough idea of maybe who made the ad. So maybe I knew Ron put the ad, but I can't find it in my tags. And if I, I type Ron, then it will actually read. It has the 
what it, the OCR recognition, whatever they have. So only with the premium accounts you have that oh, uh, that's ability. Cool. Yeah, and that's why I take a lot of pictures with Evernote. Mm. Good. Now I know what to do with all those pictures I take. I'm going to look at that again. <laughs> yeah, the, the documents. Oh, I store so many documents inside of Evernote. It's crazy. Again, you know, just, I don't use it for notes as much. Uh, it, it's more pictures. Yeah, but them. those are all great for ideas when you're ready to write something or whatever. Yes, and, yes. and swipe. You know, swipe is the big tag I have. It's like a ton of different things in there. So uh, swipe is m more of my, my bigger tag within, and then inside I have ads, I have emails, stuff like that. 